received another SMB and spool from AliExpress. These are the coveted Keep Diving brand. The short of it is the SMB is a maybe, and the spool is a, for me, no thank you. And I'm gonna tell you why, stay tuned. The SMB is is kind of nice. Link below, it is the Keep Diving brand. The only reason, I, I like to try and, and get a brand because as as many of you might know on AliExpress these things are not branded so I don't know necessarily what I'm you know if I'm going back to the same product or family of products so it is kind of nice to have a branding this one is a 1.2 meter I did not notice when I ordered this but now I know why it's 1.2 meter let's have a look why first thing this one is really substantial this is a super heavy-duty SMB here I can feel it. And then uh, on opening, there's one thing I do not like, and it has a bungee hold, and then it also has this extra secure hold. I'm gonna cut this off because that's just another thing to, to fool with, and underwater when I'm using it, it's gonna be flapping around and snapping on itself. Not good for me, I'll cut that off as soon as possible. So I pop this baby off, and I open this up. It's your standard SMB. It's a little more heavy duty, than, than some others. It says diver below. It has the Solus, has the, uh, the D ring at the at the top. What's it got? Now, one thing here, this string right now is is tied in a knot. This is super long. Uh, this does not need to be that long. Probably, I would uh, unscrew this and shorten this string and uh, leave it leave it like that. Standard fill valve you've got here. Now, the thing that's different and why this is a 1.2 meter and not a 1 meter. And all of these, you'll see, they're about 0.2 meters longer, is this has a flapper valve at the bottom. It, it's open, but it's got, it's got a flapper valve. Now, this is an interesting flapper valve. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on here. Hold the press. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I have confidence that this... I'm going to test it this weekend. Now, the, the idea with the flapper valve is that you can fill this from underneath with a regulator. All right, you can fill it here or you can fill it here. Uh, and when that's nice, in my experience, now my waters don't get that cold compared to a lot of you out there. My waters get uh, down to, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 degrees Celsius is the coldest I've dove in in Japan. And what I will say, when it gets that cold, when your lips are trying to fill an SMB, your lips get so numb that they don't seal around the fill valve easily and you get a lot of bubbles coming out and it's a very inefficient fill. Uh, maybe in the, in the extreme case you would not be able to fill at all. I don't know. In that case, you can go for the fill from the bottom. So you're, you're, holding, you're holding this with your spool, holding it open, take out your regulator, you fill and you let it go from there. And then this is supposed to flap, flap shut. Although on the way up, I mean, it's not gonna lose air, right? Because that is the lowest point. It's only once it's at the surface, if it did not flap shut and fall over, you would lose the air. Now, I have my wonder, this flapper valve, I don't know if this is, is really flapping so well. I guess, I guess I'll find out this weekend. I don't know, I, mm, I, don't, have, I don't have huge confidence. Let's find out. Other than that, Perfectly adequate. I mean, nothing nothing to say about it. It is a little more heavy duty than others I've had. So the, the big question is the flapper. For me, I would not have the flapper because in my experience, it does one annoying thing. I know it's not supposed to, but I do find that the flapper lets in a certain amount of water always uh, when I'm using these. And, and what happens is I'm, I'm often using these underwater. I pull them back down for training and let them launch it again, pull it back down. And the flapper letting in water, even if you're filling from here, somehow there's water getting in there. It's really hard to get the water out of the SMB underwater. I have to really squeeze it. Uh, at the surface, it's a little bit easier. So for that reason, I don't need the flapper in my environment, and it adds a little bit of complication to my life. I opt not to get with a flapper these days. I used to. I used to have what the Carter Carter lift bags and Carter SMB. They had the nice flapper. Now I don't because I don't need them. All right, so your mileage may vary, but there's a decision from Keep Diving on the link below. They're only flapper valve ones. I'm going to use it this weekend. Truth be told, you know, maybe this flapper is not such a good idea. Other than that, this is fantastic construction. 
If the flapper works well, it's worth it for someone. If you're in a cold, cold water environment and you have the need to fill from below, this might be a unit for you. All right, let's move on to the spool. All right, the spool. Now this one comes in, I don't know, five different flavors or something like that. It's 15 and 30. I gotta say from the beginning, this baby is light. They really machine this down. It is really light compared to the other one. Let's have a look compared to the other one. I put a leader on there, my, my own leader. And I was gonna do fancy stuff with shrink wrap and whatnot. It's not gonna happen. It's just, it's just not gonna happen. So I've got some thick line uh, as leader on there. Now, let's have a look here. So the one thing you'll notice, now, uh, let me apologize. I know this is disappearing in the green screen. You just have to deal with it, okay? Sorry. Uh, so, this one is a little bit wider. They're both 30 meter, but the, the Keep Diving brand one, it's a little bit wider. And because of that, predictably, the line is lower and the holes are more exposed. Uh, it's a little bit larger diameter, that's not a big deal for me. But the one, one deal breaker for me is on the sides, the one that I linked you previously, discussed previously, it's got nice serrations on here. This is gonna be really nice. Uh, for, for thick gloves, cold weather gloves, or my dry suit gloves are a little slippery on the outside. Non-slip. This is really slick. It's machined really nicely, but it's really slick. So, oh, that's a downside. If this had serrations on here, this would be a really nice buy. It's about the same price as the other, uh, the other spool. I'll, I'll link it up. I believe it's like 17 bucks. Other features that I thought were gonna be really nice. So, it comes with a leader. So this one was really close to the Lifeline design in that. So here, uh, by the way, it has the same line as the other one. It's a flat line. I do not know about the durability of this line yet. Uh, this weekend, I'm gonna maybe take some of it and do some destruction testing. All right, so it's, it's the same line, a little bit different color, a little more red rather than orange. It has the, the swivel. Now, at the bottom of the swivel, where it's tied, it has some rubberized shrink wrap. Right now, this rubberized shrink wrap feels okay. When I first opened the package, it was really sticky, and I, I was thinking, oh man, this is no good. This is not gonna last. But today, this is okay. It's it's hardened up. I don't, I don't know what the deal is there. And then, at the end, there's also some rubberized shrink wrap. Same deal, it was really sticky, widgy when I got it, and right now it's, it's firmed up nice. So maybe it needed some oxygen exposure to harden up. The leader on this one, I'm not so happy about because this feels even less confidence inspiring than this line itself. So, ooh, I don't know. So probably I would be re uh, I would be tempted to replace this leader, and then if I did that, why would I not go with this one, which was the same price? I had to make my own leader anyway, and then I could use a thicker line if I want, which I did, and yeah. So for me, this is this is a really it's a sexy spool. I mean, this in your hands, this is just like yeah, it feels nice, and you know, and it's got the Keep Diving branding on there, which really tempting, bling. Uh, but probably I would, if I had to choose between these two, they're about the same price, I would go with, with the one that I described to you before. However, I will include the link to this one down below. All right, so that wraps this up. So for me, I'm a pass on the spool, and on the SMB, I'm a tentative pass as well. If you don't need the flapper valve, I would not go. And I'm gonna test the flapper valve, because this baby might not be working anyway. We'll find out. Thanks for watching, see you on the beach.